What's going on, Hood? Good Lord, I am bright. Hi-Viz is in session. Hang on. <laughs> All right, so full disclosure, it's a few business days later. Um, life got in the way, and, you know, you got to take care of your business. So what we're going to talk about today is my new Tab Performance exhaust system I got in my 2012 Ultra Limited. Um, it's not an install video. It kind of started out being that, but I had some issues with this, and 99.9% .9 of those issues was yours truly here. But um, there were some things on there that uh, that did, didn't go as planned, I'll say. So um, luckily, I had my older brother come up from uh, Lansing area. He drove up about three hours north and, and helped me get this going. Um, also dealing with a pretty severe knee injury <laughs> that has me hobbling around pretty well. So um, he was up here to help uh, give me an extra hand and, and get up and down off the floor for me so I didn't have to do as much. So I, I'm really appreciative of that. But um, we got it on and it looks good. It sounds good. And uh, we're going we're gonna to give her a, a once over. So here she is. This is my 2012 Ultra Limited um, with the two into two tab performance header i don't have the heat shields on obviously i wanted to kind of show you um what this was and how it came in it's uh it's beautiful so there's this uh this here you know connects the two there is a chamber in here so this um there is some flow that goes in between these two um i i put on all the the side covers and the bags just so i can see how it looks you know complete looking good from the rear <laughs> and yeah it, it's just a it's a really great exhaust the quality of it is outstanding like this uh you know these these back caps here are are just beautifully machined um, these do flip around so these come off there's a set screw here there's one underneath you can flip them and then on the on the top side it says tab performance is etched into the uh, into the tip so the one issue I did have was on the head pipe itself um, we were we got it on this head pipe's been on probably seven times so we we got it all on went to put on the the slip on which is a uh tab performance bam stick four and a half inch with the zombie baffles um and you'll hear that shortly it's it's pretty badass but uh i was having an issue with it hitting the swing arm and what i'll do i'll actually tear this down and kind of show you a little bit more detail all right so what i had on this header system was uh, these, these four and a half inch um, BAM sticks go on for the slip-ons. You can see here, I have, it's hard to see, but I got some space in between the swing arm and the pipe now. Um, but to make that happen, not only adjusting the header out so it moves over this way a little bit more, I had to end up putting in a spacer behind this mount and we'll see can't really get in there too good but i have spacers in behind the mount to bring it out about three eighths of it is a little bit of a better view of what i had to to do you can see the spacers back there and what they are just are just washers brings it out about three eighths or so and it's just enough room to kick the pipe over enough to allow that not to be hitting when the bike is not under load. Now, when I'm on the bike, again, I'm a 300 pound man. When I'm sitting on the bike, there's plenty of room, but it's just when it's uh, not under load or if it's in the air and there's no pressure on the bike at all, it's, it's pretty damn close. All right, so as soon as I realized I had an issue with the fitment of the, uh, the slip-on to the head pipe, 
I immediately called Tab Performance. And let me tell you something. Um, this is the best customer service I have ever, ever received. Um, they were they were friendly, they're courteous, they're informative, they they solved the issue right away. Um, the young lady that I talked to, if she didn't have the answer, she found the answer and got back with me right away. I am blown away by the customer service of Tab Performance. Um, not only is their product top notch, their customer service is even better. And um, that's something a guy like me appreciates. So after we got the uh, the pipe figured out, um, and I, you know, I'm a novice mechanic. I, I'm not even a mechanic. I have a guy who has a couple of tools who can do the very bottom of the barrel maintenance things like this. Um, putting on a head pipe isn't anything huge. It's a very easy job. I felt confident doing it. Um, but there is a little bit of nuances in, in, in putting it in. Um, how you adjust the bolts and so to, to sway it in or out is one. Um, didn't realize that was as important <laughs> as it is. So um, something that the technicians over at TAB kind of ran me through as well, um, along with my big brother who was out here helping me out um, with my bum leg. He was able to get up and down off the ground with me quite a bit and, uh, and really made this happen. So we were able to get it going. I just wasn't confident with it. So we ended up taking it back off and we put those spacers in and now I feel good about the whole thing. Um, but again, when you buy from a company like Tab, not only are you getting a, a superior product that sounds awesome, you're also paying for that customer service, which is, again, the absolute best I've ever received. So I didn't do any sound clips of the before with the stock header and the um, Vance and Hine slip-ons I had on the bike before. So I suck, but we're going to do one now with the uh, two and two tab performance into the four and a half inch um, bam sticks with the zombie baffles and things louder and shit. So let's go check that out. So now all that is left to do is to install the heat shields. Um, I got a couple more adjustments I want to do. Run the bike a few times through a few cycles. You know, tighten up the bolts a little bit as it as it warms up and expands and contracts uh, before I put the heat shields back on. Um, but um, yeah, we just got to put those on and then just wait for uh, you know the weather not to be 20 degrees and two inches of ice on the roads. So um, I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait to get it out running. I also purchased myself a Vance and Hines FP4 tuner. Um, it's not the, in my opinion, it's probably the, the best tuner for a bike that doesn't have a whole lot of engine work done on it, right? So um, the FP4 isn't designed to be a put together with a, um, like a performance bagger. You're not going to get it, you know, you're not going to get that kind of performance out of this. Um, it's great for a pretty much stock bike, a stage one, which is what this bike is. Um, anything above that, it's probably not the best tuner for that. I mean, maybe running a mild cam, but anything above that, you really want to go with, with the bigger boys, uh, the Thunder Max, you know, things like that, where you can really fine tune what you got to do. But, uh, I don't plan on doing a whole lot of engine work to this bike. Um, at least not yet. I only got like 25,000 miles on this and I'm just going to run this, uh, until it decides to start breaking down on me and, uh, an upgrade from there but um so far i like it can't wait to get it out on the road here under load and and and, and just really see the difference if any that this uh you know eighteen hundred dollar upgrade is going to bring me so 
Um, if, if nothing, it just sounds cool. So you can't go wrong with that either. All right, now that 2024 is underway, we're going to talk a little bit about Northern Michigan bikers. If um, you don't follow us on Facebook in our group, um, I suggest that you go do that. There's a lot more information on there. It's a place you can post um, about your ride, event, or biker-friendly business. We also have some uh, some we just have good conversations on there. It's it's a good it's a good group to be a part of. It's uh, really kind of catching on a little bit. We got a small community now. And we're looking to expand that and, and branch off into other avenues, such as the, um, the benefit rides that we are hosting. First one up is on May 25th, Memorial Weekend. We are doing the Some Gave All Memorial Weekend Run. Um, this is going to benefit Raining Liberty Ranch. I want to put their, their logo and their website in this video. Um, I suggest you go check that, uh, that website out. Um, the ranch is aimed towards helping our veterans and at youth uh, teens um, with horse therapy, basically. You know, they, they work the ranch. There's horses out there. There's goats. There's a mini horse. There's there's chickens. There's all sorts of stuff out there. And we're going to be doing a video um, about the ranch here um, coming when the weather gets a little bit better. But um, it, it's a beautiful place. Um, Miss Becky, who runs the ranch along with, with many other many other volunteers, um, they put their, their heart and soul into this place, and it's, uh, it, it's a great resource for our veterans in our area here. Um, so Burnsy's Custom Patches made us some patches. These things are, come on now, there we go, get my ugly face out of the way. High quality. I, I definitely recommend um, hooking him up as well. I will put his information up here, but um, these things are badass. So we got 100 of these that he donated. Um, we're going to be selling these for five bucks a pop. Um, all proceeds for this ride, 100%, will go right back to Raiding Liberty Ranch. We'll have a lot more information coming up here shortly. Um, second ride we got going on is for Hands to the Rescue. Now, Hands to the Rescue is a animal shelter. Wouldn't really call it a, res a shelter. It's a it's a rescue. So we got three of our dogs <laughs> from Hands over the years. It's a place that's near and dear to our hearts. Um, we got my Charlie girl, my black lab from there. And, um, we, we absolutely love hands, the, the Norton family. And, um, they are very well known in the area and we're really excited to put on this ride for them. This is going to be in September. We really don't have a, a solid date down, but close to the last week in September, we're going to be doing this. It's going to be a poker run style. And, uh, we're just going to raise money for, for hands to the rescue. Again, I'll put their information up here. Go check them out as well. All right. Before we end the video, I want to talk about this diesel heater I installed in the uh, last video. I wish there was something good I could say about it, but there's nothing for the, uh, 15 minutes that it did work. It was awesome. But, um, there's a pump up here that is supposed to, uh, there's a glow plug on there. And then this, um, there's a piston that goes back and forth that pumps fuel down into the firing mechanism and it just doesn't do it anymore so um not exactly what i thought when we when i was looking into them i didn't realize they were all like battery powered as well so you have to hook it up to this battery they do have a modification that you can run it through an adapter for ac power but i guess for i think it was like 120 dollars you know you kind of get what you pay for we did call the company and let them know that it wasn't working. We just wanted to exchange it out. They said, don't worry about it. Here's your money back. You know, I'll keep the machine. So maybe I'll try to find a part. I don't know, but just not super impressed with it. So I'm still running off my little DeWalt propane heater. And then this little guy down here does a great job once it's up to heat. Um, right now I'm, I could be down in a, in a t-shirt and be fine in here. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is, right? You get what you pay for, and it's uh, just one of those things. Uh, life could be a lot worse for me. Um, luckily, I did insulate the garage very well, and, you know, I only have a small space. So, you know, I have a three-car garage, and I have a 12 by 22 spot to play in. So um, I'm sure if you're 
a lot of other guys are in my shoes. But yeah, so we are going to, the next video, I'm probably going to do a walkthrough of Rain Liberty Ranch, just kind of show you guys what it's about, what it is, and, uh, and go from there. So, you know, ride with purpose. We'll see you later. Bye.